Okay, hello everybody. Uh, I'm Fernando, C2DJ. And this is a very special video. It's a live video indeed. I want to show you a fake unboxing. <laughs> this is not really a fake unboxing. Uh, when this package with this radio inside uh, arrived to my home, well, I was so anxious. The first thing I did was uh, to open up and try. <laughs> um, but many, many other friends told me uh, how the radio comes, how the radio arrives, and how it's packaged, and many things like this. Well, I can tell you that this is the original package of the radio. Uh, well, the, there is a bag that says DHL. Uh, the radio arrives in, from Hong Kong to Chile in about uh, five days. Five days. Five days um, from the uh, takeoff in uh, Hong Kong. Uh, arriving to my home it's amazing well the, the box is solid it's well made the package is it's well done if, if you can see it's okay it's very good and inside this box comes a second box And this is the original uh, box of the radio. Ilunes VMR dual band digital transceiver. The uh, specifications can you see 10 watt, 8 watt, model HD1, 136 to 174, 400 to 480 megahertz. Uh, made in China, uh, all the certified for the Huyubian community, the FCC, and the Chinese standard, I guess. Uh, I never I knew what about it. Okay, let's open the box. And here it is. Here is the radio. Uh, this is a very typical Chinese package. It's not bad, I think. It's uh, it's nice. It's okay. And the radio comes with its battery, and uh, it comes uh, full charger. Believe it or not, yes, it comes full charge. Well, this is the first appearance. This is the first image you can see when you open the box, and it's amazing. <laughs> uh, I may assure you about. It. Well, this is what I received. I bought a, a lot of things. This is the manual. I must confess that uh, I didn't read completely the manual. I think the radio is so friendly that maybe you don't know how to read it. It's recommended, yes, yes, it's recommended. The first pages are um, very simple instructions, imagines, oops, I'm sorry, imagines about the radio, how to turn on, which is the pieces that uh, came included I bought uh, a, a little bit more because I thought it, it was necessary for me and please take a look about the paper quality uh, I don't know if the camera can check uh, let me show Oops. okay the quality of the paper and the quality of the printing it's the best quality I've ever seen in a Chinese radio 
yes this this paper is first quality it's very very good the printing it's so good indeed please take a look maybe you can see here very detailed illustrations it this this detail maybe is not relevant it's not important at all because the only thing you want is <laughs> this toy but I think this uh, represent or this this kind of manual show a big effort from a Chinese company uh, and to be different and to do the things in a better way and I think it's uh, preambles about what the radio is in the uh, it's very good I didn't read I can I can tell you if it's good it's bad I don't know no. well inside a box I got this first the programming cable uh, it's optional it's not included in the package and uh, it's very well made good details this is a PL2303, I guess. This is a Motorola kind uh, connector. It's not the typical. It's very, very, uh, it's better than the old programming connector, typically from Kenwood. Uh, from the Udo Jacks. Well, the hamster I used. And. This is this is fantastic. This is a a needed uh, accessory, and I think you cannot lose it. It's a gain antenna. It's in two pieces. I think it's a little bit more than thirty centimeters. It's not so long. Uh, the lens is not so wide angle, but if you see uh, here, here is this is the it just it's very very well made. And take a look, it's dual band. The connector, it's very good indeed. The thermal contractor is good. The union, it's very good also. It's not fragile I think it's robust it's not military grade of course but but no it's good and the most important it's ready for 10 watts this is a very good things you must to keep in mind especially when you try another antenna you must know that this radio it's a high power radio so it's not recommended to use antennas not certified for this punch this is the stabby the Eldiflex, like you prefer also very well made 136 to 174 400 and 480 a very good range also 10 watts capable and the belt clip this was an, another accessory this is the uh, car adapter I think that for a radio that developed 10 watts is uh, it's important because uh, in the car you may use it when you are traveling and you don't spend battery uh, when you are driving my example or when you are mobile okay. and here is the charging charging cradle it's lightweight it's very light but it's well made I think it's very very familiar it's like other brands maybe I don't know but it's uh, very stylish 
and well made. Can you see? Okay. And now, this is the power AC adapter. It's um, 200 milliamps. Uh, it's 10 volt. I don't know. It's the input current. The output current is 10 volt, 480 milliamps. It's a very, very good power and a very small uh, size. Here is, I don't know how to tell you, but I think it's a fine detail. <laughs> I think that it was absolutely misunderstood for many people who wrote about this. What happened with this box? Okay, it's an a spare box. <laughs> Excuse me, a spare box. A gift. I don't know, it's it's a fine detail also. It's, it's like the quality of the manual. Yeah, it's, it's, it's important. For me, I think it's a good detail. It's um, trying to do the things better than others. And this is really important when you test a Chinese brand. It's not frequently uh, found in other radios. Ah, well, here is the radio. Uh, it's a very nice radio. Um, let me show you, please. This is the antenna, this is the appearance. The antenna is longer than in other radios, I guess. Um, if I compare with my Motorola, by example, look, uh, the Motorola is a little bit shorter. But this antenna is for VHF only. This is a dual band antenna. Uh, let me show you. This is the screen. It's very clear. This is the only one BFO. This is BDR. This is dual watch. Always. Oh, excuse me. Always is uh, doing. Uh, oops. Dual watch. And you can select. Uh, only one display and you change BFO in blue color you'll find the active BFO of course it has it has a radio <laughs> it's very good antes de ser conocida por su propio marido el conde Enricardo dice a este que se pondrá a salvo it's a very good quality indeed And the radio can work in dual watch mode. It means that you can uh, listen to music, and if something calls in your communications band, the radio will turn off and appears the communications, of course. You have BFO, you can input the frequency 102.9. Oh, it's a very good detail. The menu, it's so simple. The LCD is clear. It's really clear. It have a protective skin here. I don't know if you can see. But it's okay. I will not remove. Um, I will go to the menus. Those are the menus. Here you select the BFO, you enter your sound. Right now I have several zones program, CE Sound 2, all channels, um, family radio, marine radio, um, fire departments, uh, civil protections, DMR Mark, DMR Brandmeister, and my hotspot that of course contain all the frequencies um, and here is 
Chile is our MCC 730 Zone 1 Oh, I'm sorry Zone 1 Valdivia and another zones are groups indeed Okay This is the radio Okay I will show you the radio now and, and my final conditions the radio is light it's very good it have a very good feeling indeed it's light but it's rugged it's very rugged the battery it is removable please take a look at the quality it's very good it's very well made look please you cannot see nothing about the battery uh, let's put it here and you gentle yeah press and that's all for removing and you take the battery off it's um, it's soft it's uh, it's a kind of radio this is <laughs> this is the perception this is not a military grade radio but it's rugged it's really solid with a sturdy case um, but it's well made the volume you feel the rubber inside it's sealed it's completely sealed oops look here is uh, somebody's calling I guess um bat is soft it's so soft insist it's not a military grade radio it's a radio for hums and this is the best thing about this radio look the colors are soft are not the typical white or red index in the in the knobs here is a soft blue it's elegant I guess it feels very good at hand very very good the PTT is very soft also a very gentle press and you feel the clock look the clicky of the of the keyboards <laughs> I'm so soft. In the Motorola, you feel that something that it's opposing that you press the each, each keys. Here now, it's gentle. Oops, I'm sorry. It's gentle. It's soft. It's rubber made. The keyboard, the printing, it's very good. Can you see? Very, very good. Um. I don't know if somebody's talking about or is talking right now. Uh, the color, I feel it's very good also. Let me show you, please. Um, okay. Hello, Hello. One, one, two, two three. three. This, this is CE2. Two. Delta, Delta. Delta. Look, please, the report. Hello, Hello. One, two, one, two, three. three. This is CD2D. Oops, no, it's. Hello. Hello, Hello one, two, one, two, three. This is Charlie Echo, Echo to the Alpha. And this, and is, this is all the information, information you, can you can get at the screen, at the screen when somebody calls. Um, please compare. Hello, hello, one, two, three, one, two, three. This is the two DGA testing. It's quite different. <laughs> the information you get in the Motorola. Hello, hello, one, two, three. This is C two DGA calling for testing. Hello, one, two, three. 
um, the modulation, the modulation is more trouble. Hello? 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 One, one, two, two three. three. Hello? Hello? One, one two, two, three. three. Well, this is one of the things um, for a guy like me that comes from Motorola and gives a very good impression. Maybe for other people who are using right now Chinese radios or many other brands that are not uh, commercially great radios, it uh, could be familiar, I don't know. But for me, it was a big deal, this. A lot of information in a very small display. The only difference, maybe, is that this screen is made um, for day and night. You can see it's uh, very good, but when the backlit is turned off, yeah, here, can you see? With sunlight you can read easily. This is a big, big, big deal uh, from Motorola. You, you can see easily in every conditions. In fact, whoops, here. I don't remember where I programmed the night day. Backlight auto off. Uh, here it is. Can you see? Backlight auto on. And you may change night mode. Night mode. It's more soft. Day mode. And day mode. <laughs> this is very, very, very good feature uh, from Motorola. But uh, here, the concept is quite different. And it's quite different because the radio is quite different also. Uh, this radio, I think, it's a computer playing games that they, it's a radio <laughs> set. Uh, in fact, this is a very amazing piece of technology in which the hardware is only a basic platform. All you can get, all the features of the radio, all the quality of the radio maybe is... Um, comes from a piece of software inside the radio. But this is a big challenge because uh, no matter it's a software radio uh, well I want to show you I want to show you later uh, it's so fast uh, this I want to talk to you it's so fast take a look voila it's ready the boot time for in a Motorola radio it's longer it's quite longer and uh, let me show you another good things I will turn off the radio I will oh my god and channel one okay hello one two three the radio is turned off I will turn on the radio hello, hello. One, one two, two three. three did you see, did you see? The, the reception, reception went, went instantaneous instantaneous <laughs> I will repeat again the radio is turned off hello one two three this is C E two D G A the booting is not complete but the radio begins to receive this is a really really amazing future considering that this radio is a software radio it's like an SDR, I guess. Yeah, it could be really something like an SDR. It's a very amazing radio. It's fantastic. Good details. iLunes, I think, has invested a lot in this radio. And it seems to me not only in, in terms of money, um, in terms of quality, in terms of a good intention. They want to be the best or be uh, really, really near to the best with this radio. This is, by all the way, this is the first radio that it's made completely for radio amateurs. 
I really appreciate it. And the company not only produce a very, very nice radio, um, the company is investing in customer quality satisfaction, I guess. It's uh, a very good detail indeed, very good detail. Okay, now... We will remove these screws and to put here the, the belt uh, clip. It's a very fine uh, stored screw. I will remove completely the screws. Oh yeah! Wow! Look! This, this piece of uh, it's polycarbonate, this is the plastic it used. Um, I want to see the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Can you see? But it's not so notorious like um, many old Motorola's, for example. Okay, here it is. This is the belt clip fitted. Here, it's very good. The battery look look very nice, but still, still it feels uh, not so ragged. Um, the edges are not uh, acute. Uh, so you don't feel like the Motorola, you feel the the edges. It's something hard. Well, this radio pretend to transmit uh, hardness. <laughs> this radio not. This radio try to transmit comfort because it's a radio. Uh, not made for commercial use, not made for governmental, not made for military. It's a radio for radio amateurs. It's a ham radio. It's designed with one uh, clear purpose. Um, and I think it's better. This is the most exciting part of this radio, I guess. The audio quality is very, very good. Well, I want to show you something. Well, I talked to you how fast the radio is against the Motorola radio. Uh, I want to tell you that the, this this was my main radio in, in digital, of course. I had many other radios indeed this was my first digital this have a problem and the LCD or on the CPU I don't know but it was a very good radio but absolutely limited in my personal experience nothing better than this this was uh, my favorite uh, ham radio uh, handy talkie it's ISO. It's uh, I have the battery in, in no, no no charge. It's still working. It's one of the best radio I ever had. Very good, rugged, so hard this radio is. Uh, the antenna it have a big uh, receiver. It goes from a hundred megahertz to mainly a one gigahertz, but it's only analog. A very good reception, good transmission, it's wonderful. This radio is fantastic. Um, this was always my first preference. Never was a radio like this. Um, no, no, this is not for ham. But the digital world, and I must to confess that I am still today, I'm really happy with this radio, it's very good. It's very good, it's a very, very good radio. 
but how can I tell you? This radio, it's only VHF. If I want two bands, I need two radios. That's simple, that's all. This is dual band. This radio have 5 watts. This have 10 watts. This radio have 2000 milliamps battery. This is the big battery. It's an original Motorola Impress. But with this battery, I can talk with a lot of luck. <laughs> With a lot of luck, one day. No, 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 no one day. I think um, one hour, two hour. With this battery, uh, with 3,200 milliamps, I can work continuously for 10 hours. I had the radio fully charged and it rest it rests two days and a half. Two days. And well, I decide to to, to put in charge. <laughs> um, I want to show you other things. I let out my... This is my first Chinese radio. Oops, I don't remember when I bought it. Can you imagine? This is Ocean uh, KG UBD1P. This radio is still working and working like a charm. Take a look how the antenna is today. The time has been so hard with it. <laughs> but this radio is still working. This is the first precept for um, a, radio, a Chinese radio manufacturer were well, really different if I compare the Yesu uh, with the Ocean mm, maybe the winner is the Yesu without any doubt the manufacturing quality yes it's good it's good but it's not so rugged um, at the first time, I think it was a toy. Come on, but still is working today. <laughs> Maybe it's a piece of a museum, but it's still working. It's a very, very nice radio. And now please think about that. One age, one generation, big difference in between a Chinese radio and a Japanese radio. There is some familiarities in between Motorola and Yesu. So I, I can make this comparative uh, relationship in between these two radios. Very good, very good, nothing to say, nothing to say, very good, but it's a big difference. Can you see? Apparently a big difference. But now it's not a big difference it's really not a big difference seems exactly the same standard but take a look this is my Motorola hey can you see <laughs> something is not closing very well uh, no matter, no, this is no, no problem. If Motorola say this radio have no problem with, with uh, the water, okay, I believe. If Motorola say, it's right, it's okay, it's like they say. But, there is something wrong here. Can you see? Please take a look about this Chinese radio. Hey, can you see? <laughs> it's impressive. Oops, please, camera. Okay. Compare the difference in between two. I don't want to um, try to tell you that one is better than other. No, no, no. Only compare. Mm, I, I will say that it's quite similar. <laughs> 
uh, you may have your own impressions about and your own conceptions, but it's not a big difference. This is the big deal. A Chinese radio versus an American radio. And not, um, w not one radio. <laughs> It's maybe the best radio, the best American radio, and not only American. This radio is respected in every place. It's Motorola. All about technology, how the best of technology was developed by Motorola. The first IMTS, the iPro mobile telephone system, was developed by Motorola. Uh, this system was the precursor of our cellular radios or cellular telephone mobile telephones and was made by Motorola one of the first digital radios the Motorola Astro this is not the first this is not the first the first was the Spectra and this is the XTS 3000 this is I can suppose it's a military grade quality radio, but Motorola say no, 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 still it's not so good. <laughs> it's incredible this radio, it's working perfectly and it's one of the most amazing digital radio I ever had. In, in fact, I have two of these radios and oh my god, excuse me. Yes, the music way too loud. Okay, this is uh, a very nice radio. It comes from Motorola. Motorola is not a simple uh, brand. It's not one or one more brand. It's the brand. And suddenly appears a Chinese brand and say, "Hey, come on! Right now I'm here. I'm be very, very similar with you." It's amazing. <laughs> this is the first punch. This is the first shock you receive when you open your box. Um, well, it comes a lot, a lot, a lot of good uh, satisfactions, and I'm more impressed today uh, about this radio than the first day. Uh, well, for for this time, this is. Uh, this is good enough. It's a long video and I don't want to to be more extensive. Uh, here this is a piece of history and here is a wonderful piece of technology. Uh, amazing, really. Okay, my dear friends, uh, thank you very, very much. Uh, I hope to upload another video with uh, some testings uh, made uh, to the iLunes and the Motorola. Uh, there is another amazing thing, the new firmware upgrade for the Unity Burkat VCD 436HP. It's amazing, now in XDN. Um, now we have a very very nice improvements uh, over the last uh, firmware in the DMR detection. It's amazing, it's wonderful and I want to show you uh, in the next video. Thank you so much, thank you very 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 much and see you. 73, this is or this was CE2DJ from Chile, South America. Good luck to everybody.